months and you're coming up on six months at Sir Hint. What's the experience been like for you? Very innovative um, and phenomenal brokerage to be a part of. It's truly a family there, but it's just so exciting overall. I think a lot of people have this misconception that we're trying to be like mini Ryans and they're trying to produce like thousands of these mini Ryans. And that's just not the case. Individuality is so encouraged and pushed. And you know we do that through creative content and things of that nature. And I've never been a part of a firm that is just so on the cutting edge of what to do, not only in like resales, but new development and just personal branding. So overall, it's been a phenomenal experience. What is your inspiration behind what you do on social media? So I think a lot of it goes into um, The Alter Ego Effect, which is a book I recommend for like any agent or any content creator. And essentially, a while ago, I thought, who's my demographic? Like, who am I like reaching out to? And what are the characteristics of an agent? If I could be the best agent in the world, what does that look like? What are those characteristics? So once I kind of wrote those down, um, I started creating my content around it. And you'll notice like in a lot of my videos, I wear a red lipstick. Wow. And the moment I put on that red lipstick, I am that character. It's a different version of me. It's an enhanced version, but it's still very authentic to me. So in a way, that perfect agent visual I have, that's my inspiration. But of course, you know, you have a lot of really incredible creators. What are some of the projects you're working on right now? So I'm about to go to Australia. Ooh. I'm going and I'm speaking at um, ARIC, which is a huge real estate conference. It's kind of like the equivalent to what we're doing today on okay. the Gold Coast. So I'm going and speaking in front of about 5,000 agents. Obviously super excited about that. So between that um, and doing like content series, things like that, we had a unit I got from TikTok actually go under contract today. I don't want to jinx anything, but it's a $10 million property that came in through my DM. So Congratulations. That is amazing. You. What are some of the biggest challenges you face in your day to day right now? Oh gosh, um, imposter syndrome. That's a huge one, and I feel you know that it's not obviously unique to myself, but a lot of you know people, but especially women in our industry, and that just because you're doing something unique and different, you still have a place at the table, and just really refining the idea that you deserve that place at the table. And I think that's probably one of my bigger challenges day to day. What do you love most about working in the New York market? The people. I know that's such a cliche answer, but like New Yorkers, y'all are something else. I'm from the South, I'm from Atlanta, and there's just nothing like meeting with New Yorkers every day. But a lot of it, it's about the relationships you carry in general. I One of my favorite things about our industry is that like hallmark moment where you're in and you like, even though we don't really drop the keys in the hands, but you know, the idea of dropping the keys in someone's hands and being a part of their story, that they're like that chapter they're about to start. I think it's just such a rewarding experience. And it's not about the check at the end of the day. It's about the relationships and the journey. And it's just in New York City real estate in our market, you have to constantly be learning and adapting and it's a challenge every single day.